Hey everybody, today is January 13th, uh, Saturday, and yesterday Tina joined us. Uh, she was driving right next to us on the wash, and I happened to look over there, and I saw her, and I'm like, Tina, Tina, and so she's, she parked over on the other side of the wash, but she couldn't walk down, um, so we're, we're back together again, and, um, homie, Homie, um, also Homie has joined us, and he came on Wednesday, and he tried to park by us at first, and he couldn't, and there's people across from us who told him that he'd have to turn his generator off at 6, so he went and found another place to park, and it was pretty far out. He wouldn't be able to walk to the uh, seminars at all, and then he got sick, and now he's sick, but... He came the day before yesterday. Okay, so two days ago, Homie was uh, trying to find us again, and I happened to see him also driving, and I was yelling, Homie! But he didn't hear me, but then he came back around, and I yelled again, and he heard me, and so he came back over here, and um, he was going to park behind me, but now there's a lady with her Prius, and uh, she has a potty tent set up back there so he couldn't and so he tried to park over there again like a little bit farther away from them and you know they told him that somebody was camped there and that uh, somebody else was coming or something for a while we were waiting for him to join us and all of a sudden he drove back by and now mind you he was not feeling well either and we're like oh no what happened you know and so a little while later, we saw him, and it's hard to explain what he did, but it's kind of confusing sometimes. And like, there was a road that looked like it was probably a regular road, but it wasn't. There was people camped along it, but there was no way to turn around. And he was going to turn around. I don't know if he missed his road or what, but um, he was trying to turn around and got stuck in a wash really bad. And I mean, it was really bad. And he has a 34 foot long bounder. And the whole bottom in the back was buried. And the hitch was uh, digging into the ground. The wheels were just spinning, the back one. Uh, the one on the driver's side was not, but the one on the passenger side was. And you know, uh, it was impossible for him to get out. Impossible. But people came and started helping him. And uh, uh, pretty soon, you know, there was a whole bunch of uh, people helping him. And he had some wood. So they were, like, digging and putting rocks under there. And they had his jacket up with his stabilizers trying to get more wooden rocks. And, I mean, it looked impossible. And he couldn't get it out. And I was praying. I was praying my head off. Because, and I was, and I couldn't even hardly bear to watch because I'm like, he's never going to get out of there. He's going to be in so much trouble. It's going to cost so much money. Because it did look impossible. And even though they were, you know, with the wood and everything, it's still, you know, to get him out of there. And uh, Denver Jim came with his truck. And Denver Jim is the internet solar guy. Okay. So he came with his truck and they got it raised up enough. And, I mean, Jim did not have very much room either to pull him out of there. It was really tight. And it went over, a like, a high wash, you know. And I'm like, I, it didn't seem like he would be able to do it. But you know what? He did. And I, I know that God helped them. I know that God helped them because that was impossible. And even Granny Joe was like, he's never going to get that out of there. He's going to have to um, get a heavy-duty tow truck. And, and yeah. So, I know, you know, I didn't have my camera on me, and if I would have, I was so, um, exasperated that I, I could have, probably would have forgotten about it anyhow. But, luckily, Granny Jo got, um, a couple pictures and a short clip, and uh, she thought she got more, but I guess it didn't turn out. So, um, I'm going to show you that, and he is actually a very famous newbie because he has been in Pandemonium video, one of uh, Destination Open Roads video. Um, he was in one of my videos, even though I'm not very famous. And he might have been in one of Granny Joe's. I'm not sure. But I'm going to show you that clip, what we got. And also, yesterday, Tina got up on the 
roof here because I'm scared too okay yes and did a 360 of the you know all the RVs that are here there's a lot of RVs here um, today when I went I was gonna get homie a button because he hasn't even been up there yet he's sick and oh yeah let me finish homie so he got out of there thank the Lord and so he's parked across from me right next to another big class A and the thing is um, there's a fifth wheel right behind them that's moving tomorrow morning so he the plan is for him to back that up but I guess that there's some van dwellers right there and she told them and they're parked really close to her they're, she's gonna wake them up at six o'clock in the morning to move their vans and she told them already because they have to put their truck around there to um, you know to hook up so they can leave in the morning and that space has already been uh, spoken for but I guess there's somebody in a van who's telling her no I'm getting that space so I don't know if we're gonna have a fight in the morning or what I hope that people have some respect you know because you know the intention was where where he's parked right now is not that good he's parked almost really really close to another clo class A and only because you know it's only gonna be for a couple days till they moved Otherwise, you know, he doesn't want to stay there, and um, they probably don't want him to stay there either. I'm sure they wouldn't say anything, though, because they're decent people. You know, there are, there's, there's mostly decent people out here, but there's some, there's some a-holes, too, okay? And that's for sure. There's no reason why these other people did this, and they, and they rocked off a, a big part of space for themselves. So I'm watching. I don't think any else is coming maybe they have somebody else coming but we're not supposed to be able to save spaces like that so that was wrong he could have parked there you know where he was and it would have been fine you know he's 67 years old okay so anyhow um you're gonna see homie and the great miracle well we didn't capture the when the moment when he got pulled out and everything but the pictures you know and then you just have to kind of use your imagination what that kind of looked like it was bizarre it was wild and it was it was an answer prayer it was impossible God put an angel to push and lift and help and help those guys do that even you know God sent the right men to help and then not one of them would accept any money so I'm telling you what you know there's a lot of really really good people out here and they make up for the few a-holes okay that's for sure so um anyhow um i also want to say welcome and thank you to all my new subscribers and my old subscribers um i have like 250 something i think subscribers and that's like 251 more than i thought i would have so i thank you all and welcome to my channel um i'm not sure what kind of channel this is going to end up being because it's probably not going to be a travel channel like some of the other ones and i may never get very much footage of the RTR but um, if you want to see footage of the RV RTR there is like a hundred that you watch right so and you might even see me in one you know yeah so um, yeah but I'm gonna try to do videos anyhow and I'm gonna try to keep my camera with me because you never know when something's gonna happen like my phone go off okay and um, yeah alrighty so um, I hope you enjoy this clip and uh, the 360 that Tina did of the RTR.